All right, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. Now this is one of my ficus microcarpal cuttings. It's a good, good thick cutting, but it also has it's this huge chop, chop scar here that I'm gonna need to overcome. See if you guys can overcome, heal over. And, but I know early on when I first made my YouTube channel, I remember demonstrating what I'm gonna try to do on this. I'm not gonna try to do it, I'm gonna do it. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, well, first off, I am going to take this branch out altogether, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. But all of these, uh, all these branches right now have all kinds of figs growing on them. The way they kind of hide the leaves there, I'm not really sure if you guys can see them, but they're all full there. But what I'm gonna do is like as I usually go through on some of these trees that I, I you know, kind of have the branches set and have what I feel like is, is enough ramification, when I come through and prune, I also completely defoliate. But if I was to take this one as probably the smallest branch on there, I just cut it off because it was coming straight off one of the keepable branches. If I was to take and say prune the end off, and again, it's a bit shorter, and leave all those leaves, like there's five leaves on there right now, chances are I would get a bud at each one of those leaves. If I was to take and to defoliate it as well, I might only get one or two. And so I'm gonna to try to demonstrate that now because the idea here is that this branch that is gonna be the new leader, which you know I need to really grow strong so it can kind of take care of that scar there, has four sub branches coming off of it, but you can still see it's just a very skinny branch right now and with all these extra branches growing on it, it should start to thicken up really well, especially if I send a bunch of energy that way. And while these branches are all kind of like they're in the places I want and everything, I could use a little more ramification on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna cut each one of them off just to about where it first starts lignifying. That will take off all, the, all those figs and also, I mean, you can see on this one, that's gonna leave about eight leaves there, and that'll be eight chances for it to get some good strong back budding. And just leave the leaves on there sometimes. Sometimes I take them off just simply because it looks so much better when I go to make a YouTube video out of it. And on some of my trees, I actually think like, if I get any more back budding in there, I'm gonna to have too much to handle where this one now, they've kind of got some, some length on there. And again, I'll just leave all these leaves. This one kind of has this branch coming right off the bottom. I'm gonna take the one off the bottom and then go ahead and hit that. So like I said, it's towards the end of June. It's June 24th. Let's kind of take a look at this. And I'll just hang on, to the, hang on to this part of the video. Again, I touched nothing up here, not even the figs that are growing on there. And then we'll just come back and revisit the whole thing. Uh, later on this summer, it's the middle of the growing season, so I'm sure it'll be still be summer when I come back and look. All right, and that first bit of the video there is from June, and now here we are at the end of October, just a few days away from Halloween, almost November. I did not, uh, the when I pruned all these branches back, my, you know, it was kind of a, not an experiment, it was just actually kind of to show that it would ramify down here some, and I could go ahead and try to continue uh, healing this bigger scar. I'll show you that in a minute. But I was going to let the leader just kind of run some. I talked about it plenty in that first video, I'm sure. It's fall in Florida now, if you see all those yellowing leaves. I do see, uh, I do see a lot of people when they, bring their, when they bring their ficus indoors for the winter. They get a lot of yellowing leaves, a lot of leaf drop, and they really get freaked out by it. And I can only imagine like what these trees would do if I brought them in. This much yellowing here is just actually occurring because, uh, you know, just less sunlight this time of year. It happens all the time. I kind of got off track there for a second. When, uh, when I did do that pruning in June, instead of being able to show, like, in a month or two how much ramification got, it actually started just doing nothing but fruiting down here. 
And at one point, I was going to go ahead and follow up that video and just show how many fruit it had. And then they were turning purple, which, you know, kind of means that I have the wasp. And I was going to show, you know, how nice and plump they were looking when they were all right. And then, lo and behold, the birds kind of took them all. And so, uh, I actually just kind of forgot I even had that video. I was actually, just a few days ago, kind of rooting around in my computer. I haven't been, uh, I haven't been doing much here lately again. Just been busy at work. Letting some of my trees just, you know, really grow and go with it a little bit. Obviously, the fruit's gone now. And at this point here... Really all I'm going to do, I'm going to do some interior pruning, just some of this stuff that sprouts right off the branches. But I'm just going to help it get rid of all these yellow leaves. I've been doing this kind of, you know, to some of my other trees out there. Just kind of helping them all off. And then, you know, a couple of them I was even a little worried about. There was one that had seemingly close to like 60% yellow leaves. And I pulled them all off, and sure enough, you know, all the green ones stayed, and it's still growing. It's just, you know, like I said, that time of year. And it's still, you know, it's still getting up in the 80s every day. Plenty of sunlight and everything. It's just, you know, sun's now setting at 637. Stays darker a lot later in the morning. Times are going to change soon. And actually, I mean, we still have... We still have close to two months until we actually get our shorter days in. That's how how many yellow leaves just kind of pulled right off there. There's some of the pot here too. I'd like to just go ahead and clean that up. But the way some people put it is they put it almost as if like a tree has a brain and it decides to drop leaves. They don't decide to, it's just at a, at a point where it doesn't need as many because it's not as light out late. And so they just shed some of their older leaves. And now you can see this is uh, just from that video in June. I didn't go back and rewatch it or anything, but I was trying to get extra ramification out here. There's now four growing tips at the end of this. I feel like if it hadn't have put so much energy into the fruiting, they'd be a little bit longer now and everything. A couple of these are a little sickly looking. I'm just going to pull off a couple of the ones that don't look all that well and a couple of the ones growing straight from the trunk that I don't really want. All right, so I finally got to follow up with this guy. And that'll be all about all I do now. We are heading into fall. I hate to work them too much. And I did just work in June. I have a couple other trees that I've been saving for like some Thanksgiving projects. I got three weeks till I get a little time off. Trying to save some projects for that, that week. I've been trying to keep up with this extra AP Calculus class I'm teaching and everything. Not extra, but new to me. Would like to take a look at this scar. All right, and uh, here's the scar I was talking about. When I took this cutting, it was actually from what I call the tall green island. And it was one of the, I broke that green island into uh, basically like two clumps. And then I had a couple smaller pieces that I broke off the side. This is one, you know, that came off by itself. And for some silly reason, at one point I was trying to like grow out the branches on the side and build some taper that way because you know of you know it's like a good five six inches here without much but now at this point i've been in the hobby long enough to realize that as long as it's going to take to grow this this scar out it's going to have its own natural taper anyway especially if i leave branches on the side there so that's kind of what i'm concentrating on now and you know it's just a good time now i've got it in here i'm just going to try to take some of the bulk out And maybe if I even get down to some live wood, maybe even get lucky enough to have a branch spot and sprout in a really good spot. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's a little aerial root right there. I almost hate to cut that off just because a little bit of life will also, or any life will help heal up scars, but... It's going to have to go. And 
And there we go. I think that'll help for the future. I didn't really get too much into this. That's got a branch coming off the back side of it. And also with the camera off, I realized there was a couple little sprouts down here I didn't take off before. I took them off. I don't really know why I did it with the camera off, but all right. And here is that piece off the main tree. I've got it sitting in here. This is just a clump that I have it sitting with. Work that one separately. I'm going to go ahead and just trim these roots off. I, had, I have it. This is a clump that just doesn't take up the, the size of the pot, so I just have it resting on there. Really was good and solid in that pot, but it only had three or four roots that were coming through the bottom there. And then since I've got it, I really, uh, I've tried a couple rafts with some microcarpa. I haven't really worked out all that well. I've tried a couple cascades. I think maybe I got a little impatient with a couple of them, but they haven't really worked out all that well either. With a tree like this that kind of basically was just a cutting that fell off the, you know, the main tree that I'm doing the video on right now. It just kind of has, you know, an ugly stump going in here. It actually, now it's going to be a slingshot because it's got a, I can see it's got a pretty massive root coming off right there too. That's the main stump there. That's the, uh, the you know, the original one. Not necessarily traditional looking, so it's not the best looking thing right now. Sometimes the way to, you know, fix up something that doesn't look all that good is just to get the trunk as thick as possible. So I am trying to let as much grow off as it is possible. But since I've got it out here, there are a couple branches that just aren't going to be able to stay. Like this one is coming right. I'm limited on room here, but there's a branch just kind of, well, twig actually, coming right up just on the underside of it. And then there's another one over here that's doing the same thing. I do think, yeah, well, this little branch is just growing right into the rest of the tree there. And then there is always the slight chance this, this branch here is coming straight up off of, you know, the other trunk here, but there is the chance that I do some angle changes. And if I do some angle changes, then it really wouldn't be in a, a horrible place to be. And then like I just did with the uh, mother of this tree, as much as I would like to, you know, again, I say have as much growth as possible. I don't want it terribly tall. Some of these are getting super leggy. So I'm just going to cut the growing tips off, but I'm not going to defoliate the whole thing or anything. Do just like I just kind of did to the cannon there. And then because this is obviously nothing on all that traditional or anything like that these two are closest to the base here and i'll just leave those uh growing tips there and just kind of see what happens with the rest of it should get plenty of growth on it leaving all those leaves on there and everything all right and then here we are again in late october i guess it's the 29th or 30th or actually i guess it might be the 28th almost forgot that i did this as part of that other video but i caught it before i finished editing and that there was some of that in there and so I just figured I'd show you this too. I did set that right back in that pot. And that's how many roots have kind of come out of this little makeshift container since then. Go ahead and get them cut off. I'm actually very surprised that this one's not yellowing up at all. Where this one sits, it's not really on purpose, but where it sits, it's actually getting a little more more shade than that other one's getting. Maybe it just, you know, it's got the more room to, for the escape roots and everything. You know, sometimes there's just no real explanation for why things do the way they do. But uh, definitely looking a little more healthier with no yellowing leaves. I am going to clean it up just a little bit. Kind of feel like a couple of these pieces a little bit far out and kind of leggy. And then since I'm sure any day any, some of these really older leaves are just going to start yellowing, I'm just going to go ahead and jump on top of that. I'm not going to defoliate, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
pull off some of the seriously older ones and I can actually even see you know I was trying to do that same thing with this one and this one actually did the uh, purpose correctly I don't know why I didn't prune that longer one up there every one of these now has like three or four growing tips come off the end and I can clearly see the difference even though they're not yellowing yet between the older leaves and the newer leaves trying to not make too many rash decisions about pulling full branches off I'm not sure not sure how I'm envisioning this being an adult tree one day or even any kind of angle change I'm gonna do or try to do whenever I get around to putting it in a better pot of some sort I do have this little lava rock here and I noticed that it got to where it's really resting on the edge of this pot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip it under there like that and just have it as a little bit of a better, better angle for this and not really a pot but the container I'm using and once again not really sure how I let that one get out there so leggy like that and cut that one off and I think that's just kind of a good enough cleanup for this guy to head in the winter wasn't really even planning on doing a video on this today I just, I just forgot that I made this part of the other one this was actually a little piece of piece of that tree that had broken off and when I went to go repot it just realized it just came right off and it had become its own little own little plant there like this little branch here is coming straight up off of it the way it is now but again I can see this perhaps moving up that way I think I've kind of given up on any kind of any kind of uh, extra cascades. I still have two that I'm holding on trying to put a cascade in. Neither one of them are looking all that great. I just don't think this type of microcarpus uh, does too well with the cascade idea. I'll see how those other two turn out, but this one, like I said, I think I'll see its future like this somehow. Doesn't really have much of a trunk still. 